Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, super late about it, but happy new year. <laughs> Guess better late than never, right? Anywho, we're back with another review today. And today we have Imagination Works 1 9th scale Sun Goku. And uh, yeah, if you've seen anything about this anywhere, I'm going to touch on a major issue right now. Everyone hates, uh, yeah, the crotch area. I'm, I'm just going to get right into it. That's a limitation. That is as far as it can go. And it sucks. It's not a, a game killer. It's not, you know, this figure is complete trash. Because quite honestly, this is a really good figure. It's it's something new. It, it's different. I mean, it's Goku, so it's not that different, but more so than what we usually get from SH Figure Arts, or anybody else for that matter, but I'm pretty sure SH Figure Arts is the only ones we have doing anything that we all care for. I mean, yeah, we have the Dragon Stars, and those are cool, but come on. Come on. Um, aside from the crotch issue, the other issues I've seen people talking about, I haven't had yet. Uh, hopefully I don't have that happen, but it's the, the silicone body, and I just realized I was all the way over there, the, the arms, instead of being plastic, or at least having a swap out thing of plastic, we have this, uh, rubber overlay material, if you can, uh, see in there, yeah, so the joints and stuff are in there, I'm not gonna pull that down anymore, it terrifies me, a lot of people get cracking in the elbow, I haven't had that happen yet, um, or in the bicep, again, haven't had to happen yet, and I've had this figure for a few months now. It's all about, you know, making sure you maintain taking care of your figures. Uh, at the same time, Goku's not cheap, and I feel like my figure's skin shouldn't be cracking. I mean, if they're gonna go a seamless route, they could have did something better. They could have... Actually, nah, I don't think they could have... <laughs> Never mind. I would have taken the joints. I mean, all our SH figure guards have joints. This would be no different, but I get it. They were going for a different look, and it does look good. This, this Goku is aesthetically pleasing. It looks like he jumped right out of the screen. I mean, they, they textured his clothes, as you can see. Yeah, the, the back doesn't look any good either for the butt. <laughs> um... Also, yeah, another slight knock if this type of thing bothers you. I don't really care. You bend his knee, his pants kind of stick up like ears. Now it's an orange cell. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's uh, this is a limitation, like I said. And go try to push this any further, it will break it. There are numerous reports of people breaking our Goku figures, and I feel very sorry for those people because, like I said, this Goku is not cheap. Um, the top piece here, the Gi, this is a rubber overlay. This is nice, but underneath, hard plastic. Okay, flexible. Nice, gets out of the way when you need it to. Uh, the, the cuffs here, are not cuffs, the... Uh, What's supposed to be the continuation of the gi also serves the butterfly joint. Mine tends to stick in. I don't know why it is. I haven't tried messing with it. I think this is the first time I'm actually, no, second, second time I'm actually trying to pull this out to have it, you know, flare out how it normally does for Goku. It tends to do this and go back in and never come back out. But, hey, it is what it is, I guess. Um... As for this limitation, I've seen a, a mod for this to actually get this to be flexible like an SH Figure Arts would be, which I think is pretty neat. I'll probably do an update review after I do that mod. Here's hoping I don't break my figure, but if I break my figure, hey, I broke mine, so you don't have to break yours. Um, if I do it right, and if I remember the instructions correctly of what the person told me, this will be perfect for me it'll be perfect for anybody else it might bother them because the way the modification works this is gonna look real bad 
doing this and like looking at it from actually yeah i can show you that mod of what it's going to do is going to carve this down more so anytime the legs are bent like this this is going to be more gappage but it'll allow it to bend inward more so goku will be able to do full splits or at least a split further than what he can do now because this is his limitation so let's try to angle his feet this is as far as goku can can stand that's it you try to push it any further you're gonna break his legs and that wouldn't be good now would it that that would suck but yeah uh solid figure overall it has his it has his uh quirks i guess you could say of why you should shy away from this but i know honestly if, if you're looking at this review and you thought about getting this figure odds are you like dragon ball you thought this figure looked cool and even with the minor flaws that it has you probably still want it and i would say get it i, I still think it's dope the, the detail is amazing and i did not bring my sh figure as goku to compare it to but and what can you do next time right this Goku does come with interchangeable faceplates and an interchangeable head, or should I say hair? <laughs> um, let me uh, let's grab those real quick, and you know, pulls up Goku a little. Just yeah, welcome to his review. Knowing Goku, even if he had a review, he'd want to fight. So there we go. Goku can stand there ready to fight with his. Yeah, there's his box. I left that off screen. But, uh, yeah, sure. That that works well. I'll just turn that way. Anyway, what are my reviews without something wrong happening? Let's grab faceplate number one. This is the only swappable faceplate for the normal state head. And it's angry. Angry Goku. But it's pretty nice. You're probably wondering, why is it blank like that? Well, I'll tell you. Because swapping Goku and his face is easy as a one, a two. Yeah, that's not that's not creepy at all, right? That's not creepy at all. And three. Boom. Oh, yeah, never mind. Four. Because uh, that, that looks weird. Yeah, let's not do that. The eyes are also interchangeable. Okay, now we have a standard Goku face off, yelling face on, and I'm just gonna pop this out again, pop that out, and this part is a little annoying to do, these are, they sit in there very well, I'll give them that, love the connection, at the same time, hate the connection, they hurt pulling them out, but um, you have your dead on eyes, the ones that are just looking directly at you, this, hey, time to fight, we have its looking to the left or our right and we have it looking to Goku's right or you know our left so those are the three sets of eye well two additional sets one original three sets y you get what I mean uh we have those and then um yeah I should probably pop that off and so you guys stop staring at headless or faceless Goku Swapping is really easy. The, everything comes out really nice on this when it comes to swapping out joints or anything. Really smooth. But um, this, uh, this is going to take me just a second because putting this on hurts my hand, as you would expect for very spiky hair to do. But we're going to put on his Super Saiyan head. So here's the head. I'm already taking the front hair off. I'm going to have the Super Saiyan eyes, which there are three of as well. Same style, you have looking forward, looking left, looking right. These are looking forward. They will not fit in each other's head, so you you know, random shenanigans. You can't put the black eyes into the Super Saiyan head and vice versa. You can't put the Super Saiyan eyes into the black head. But there's Goku's face. Did that off camera, didn't I? <laughs> and the front of the hair. And I didn't push everything together because his hair hurts. I'm not going to lie. It, it hurts. Sharp pointing is bad. But uh, it does fit flush together. I mean, I just 
Oh wait, actually no, I probably should push it together. Just just so you guys can see. Let me make sure. Let's not half ass it. Okay, eyes are in. Faces in. And front of hair is in. Okay, there's small garbage. I guess it doesn't go completely back like I thought it did. Hmm. The more you know. Anywho, gonna pop this on here. His hair is going like under my nail. There we go. Ow. Anywho, we have sharp porcupine hair Goku. I mean, Super Saiyan Goku. It does look good. Like, you, come on, you can't tell me this doesn't look good. It looks amazing. This figure really is good. I, I, it sucks that it has so many minor issues that you wouldn't expect this to have. Like, come on. Come on. This could have been perfect. It could have been perfect. But you know what? I guess 7 out of 10 isn't bad, right? Um, Just for the sake of showing... Not necessarily popping, but showing. Uh, this is his uh, angry face. And uh, let's grab these out. One and two. We have the Super Saiyan eyes looking to his right or left. And his Super Saiyan eyes looking to his left or right. Where'd the face go? Let me just give you a small example of how they look inside the heads. Yep, there you go. Boom. You see that sheen on it? That's a really nice glow under certain light. It hits it just right. It glows really nice. But, uh, yeah. And the other things that he does come with is that he does come with, aside from the two fists that he has on him, he does come with four additional sets of hands. We have a pair of martial arts hands for Goku. You know, the pose he does when he's crouched over. You can't do it with this figure, sadly, because of the legs, but let's try to pull it off slightly. You know, when he's down like this and he has the one arm up and the other one down. That's the first stance he took before he fought Vegeta for the first time. That's what these are for. Or, you know, just posing around in general. Yep. Stay? Okay, he stayed. We have, obviously, a pair of Command Man hands. Open palm, uh, wrist grab, whatever you want to do with them. But, we're, you know, you're going to use them for the Command Man. I should probably get to the focus. There we go. Boom. Yeah. And they're nice. They're really nice. Like, look at this. He has wrinkles in his knuckles. You can see his fingernails. You see what I mean? The details are there. I, you get what they were going for. It's just execution wasn't 100% on their side. We have the Open Blast Key Hands. Open Blast Key Hands. Hmm. Open Hand Key Blast Hands. Actually, that sounds a little bit more redundant than what I just said. Never mind. You know what? We have key blast hands. Yep, there you go. Key blast hands. High five. And then last but not least, we have... Uh, they don't want to come out. Let's try this again. There we go. Pointy finger hands. No, we have instant transmission hands. Or, you know... Him really trying to be Piccolo and Special Beam Kenya. But again, really nice. Really nice. And the last thing of his accessories that he comes with. I'm not going to pull the entire thing out. So I'm just going to move Goku out the way. And stand it up. And hopefully nothing. Oh wait, no, it won't fall. It's in a clamshell. Goku comes with his own stand. Which I think is cool. Yeah, they could have did a little bit more with it. But I'm not complaining because... Not a lot of figures always give us a stand. So, uh, yeah. But it's pretty nice. You have a standard clamp you can use for them. You know, that's the connection piece to the base. 
And then these are the clamp arms that go around him with holes around him to hold him up. Or you can use the crotch one that will hold him up by his crotch. It's a pretty decent stand. It's not super fancy. It's a little loose out of the box. So uh, if you pick this up, you might want to tighten those screws on it. And let's move all his accessories out the way. So I can start doing what I haven't been doing in any of my other review videos. Actually, let's pop this off first too. Because I feel like that's ow, unfair to do that that way. I don't feel like that's a true height for... Uh... Actually, no, I should leave that in there. I'm going to need that for later. I don't feel like that's a true height for for Goku having his Super Saiyan hair up. I mean, yeah, most people are probably going to display him like that. But for the people out there that are going to leave him as his normal unpowered state, that's what we're going to do right now. Assuming I grab all of his accessories and put them back where they go and find the right ones to use. There we go. I didn't put his eyes on, did I? Nope. No, I didn't. Those are Super Saiyan eyes. Take two. Mm, Super Saiyan eyes. Oh my god. Take three. There we go. We got the right ones. Non-Super Saiyan. Alright. Push those in there. Make sure those are set. Mm-hmm. And I do like the effect that it causes. So, like, there's no um, there's no actual draw line on the mat. The I was gonna say mask. The face itself is actually using the draw line from the eyes and the space that's in between to give it that cartoon outline. That is pretty dope. But anyway, uh, let's pop this back on. Yes, this head's a lot less uh painful. I'm going to get this part out of the way before I do the articulation, which I've kind of shown off already. But uh, size comparison. So here's Goku. You know, all cool. Like I said, this is a, Imagination Works one-ninth. So not quite one-twelfth, not quite anything else for that matter. <laughs> but um, they're roughly somewhere between seven to eight inches tall. So here's your standard Marvel Legends. That's classic Iron Man here, which uh, this figure is amazing. If you don't have it, try to find it. Modular Iron Man is dope. If you're trying to get a Marvel vs. Capcom 2 theme going on, this would be perfect for it. His hands are like this because I had a repulsor blast in. I just took them out for the review. But uh, this is your standard 6-inch scale figure. So you can see how tall this Goku is. It doesn't really fit in with that because uh, if I remember correctly, I don't think Goku is taller than Iron Man. Iron Man does not want to stand either. Hmm. That's very unfortunate. Let's see if we can get Iron Man to stand on camera. Come on, Tony. Don't don't let us down like this. Alright, he didn't let us down. Although his foot's crooked, so it's probably gonna let us down again. Oh, he didn't let us down. Alright, Tony, you stand there. You're you're A OK -okay in our book. Come on, Tony. Tony. Okay, Tony's been drinking. That's why he won't stand. And now he's proving me wrong. Genius. Okay. So, um, standard, he's leaning forward. Tony's kind of smooth criminal, criminal right now. Um, standard six inch. And then we have, I want to say the standard height for any Storm's collect, Storm collectible figure. There are bigger Storm collectibles. We all know this. You know, Mataro, Goro, uh, Akuma. But, uh, for a standard size in general, Alex is pretty good. And Goku is actually still taller than him. That's a little creepy. <laughs> Goku is still taller than him. And if you're wondering, no, it does not fit in scale with SH Figure Arts. SH Figure Arts Bardock. Imagination worth one night scale Goku. This is the standard size of SH Figure Arts. So if you're wondering, no, this Goku does not fit in scale with that. I guess if you were doing it for photos, um, you could force perspective it to make it seem like they're about the same height. But mm, not really. I mean, look at that. Bardock comes up to his waist. Hell, Bardock is smaller than Tony. So, uh, yeah, 
this is a good height comparison for uh, Goku, I guess. So we have basically about 5 inch. 6 inch. True 7 inch, I want to say. And then I want to say 7 and a half and up. Or maybe just 8 and up. I feel like this Goku is probably about 8 inch. 7 and a half to 8 inches. I don't have a ruler. I'm not going to do all that measuring stuff. But uh, yeah. There's a size comparison for anything you might have in your lineup or are guessing about or have lying around general thing i didn't have a figma to bring out and figmas are usually the size of sh fig arts or slightly smaller um same thing with uh my facts. they're about the size of iron man sometimes smaller sometimes slightly bigger but yeah so let's get these guys out they'll be back in a uh, another point in time and we can get back to the main saiyan himself so, we're going to talk about articulation. Goku can look up that far. Yes, that's literally it. That far. No exaggeration. Goku can look down. I separate his hair. That far. Which is pretty nice, especially if you know you want to get that whole uh, first turning Super Saiyan thing on. He looks down pretty far. Because you have a neck joint. And an additional neck joint. You have the neck joint at the top and at the base of the neck. Go can get all the emotion. Do, 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 do. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let me stop messing around. For rotation at the shoulder, butterfly joint, bicep swivel. Double jointed elbow, and I'll point this out now. Uh, this is one of the issues that people have of this breaking. Do not leave this type of texture posed in a, a bent pose for a long period of time. Like if you're gonna, if you know you're gonna mess around with your Goku and repose it every now and then, okay, that's fine. But if you're gonna take them out, put them in a pose, and then leave them on a the shelf and not touch it for months, bad idea. This will it'll start tearing on you. Don't do that. I'm trying to help you save your figure. Don't do it. But yeah, double joint elbow, um, wrist hinge and swivel. By the way, uh, swapping out the hands is pretty easy. They pop right off. The ball joints are actually really nice. Oh, the peg, I should say. It's really nice. It feels sturdy. I have. I don't have any worries that it's going to pop off or anything. Um, if you're wondering, no, this is not removable. I mean, you can if you force it, but then I believe the the silicone or whatever material this is is going to be just open and exposed and might fall off. I'm not sure. Um, everything that I did to the left side applies to the right. We have a waist twist. You can rotate. Um, the crunch does not exist for this Goku. That's as much as he can crunch. And I don't want to force it because, you know, it doesn't feel like it should go anymore. So I'm not going to push it. I don't want to break this. I really don't. I really like it. Don't feel like paying for another. Unless I break it modifying it. Then I'll do it because, you know, I purposely did it. We have a thigh swivel. Double jointed knee. It goes in that far. Also, it, this tucks in when you bend the knee. It's pretty nice. We have a boot swivel. It's really stiff, but it does swivel. Anchor rocker, forward facing pin, you know, all that good stuff. Foot go up, foot go down, toe go up, toe doesn't go down, toe goes flat. <laughs> Same thing applies to this side. Like I said, hindrance, he can kick up this far. And it's sad, that's really sad. And yes, again, it looks ugly in the back. He can kick back. That far. Why he would do that, I don't know. He could do the splits this way, just not the other way. Again, looks bad. That ah, this figure was almost perfect. I'm sorry, I'm not hating. It's just that they they almost had it. They almost had it. But yeah, this this figure is great. Aside from those minor issues that I keep pointing out, that makes it seem like this figure is not great. This figure is great. You'd, you'd have fun with it. 
I don't recommend getting it. But I recommend getting him twice? No. Hence why I said don't go further than this and why I'm not going to until I modify it. But uh, yeah, it's it's pretty nice. Um, I wish it was cheaper. <laughs> Honestly. It, it probably could have been cheaper. At least maybe like 10 or 10 to $15 cheaper. At least from when I got it. I got it off of Amazon when it was for 80 bucks. So you guys probably can get it less than that. It's been a while. So he's probably gone down. I am interested into this line. We do have Vegeta. And uh, we have Luffy coming soon. I will be picking that up. He'll be reviewed as well. But uh, yeah, that that's Goku. And this review seemed like it just flew by. I know it didn't, but it seems like it did. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you're thinking of getting Goku, pick him up. If this turned you off from getting it, hey, I'm glad I was able to save you some money. This figure's not for everybody. I, I can openly admit that. But, if you can look past all the bad, and by all the bad, I mean the limited waist articulation, unless you modify it, and how the how it just looks at certain angles, which you'll probably never never take a picture of, but yeah, you know, you know it's there. If you can get past that, this is a great freaking figure. It's amazing, and I'd recommend it. So uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, peoples.